welcome back. It's with great news that we've actually got some Blood Bowl 3 good news about Season 1 and the next team coming. Let's get into it. So after a couple of weeks of no news and no updates and everyone being a bit down on Blood Bowl 3, it was really good news this week that we actually had some news and after it being hidden away for a while we managed to track down what was going on, what's happening next and even better, when's it happening. So let's go into it and let's have a look. So this week was the Warhammer Skulls event. And for those of you who aren't into all of the Warhammer games, Warhammer Skulls is an update on all the Warhammer video games, and my goodness are there a lot at the moment. And for those of you that are into them, there's a few free things at the moment you can download, and definitely a lot of sales if you want to pick something up and go through it. Now there wasn't a lot about Blood Bowl 3 in the update, but there was something that we just found hidden away. So if we go through this quite quickly, Firstly, it was an update on the Warhammer Age of Sigmar game, Reams of Ruin. Um, you can register for the open beta. Uh, for Speed Freaks, which is an Orcs uh, uh, combat car game, um, there's an, I think it's an alpha playtest is available now. That's pretty available to get into if you want to go in and jump into that. Uh, Warhammer 40k, uh, Space Marine 2, which looks like a really interesting hack and slash game. That'll be quite good fun. Uh, Total War... 3 Warhammer, um, more updates on that and uh, more details coming and I would fully recommend that if you're a Total War fan, uh, I've, I've got that, played it myself. Uh, Power Wash Simulator for 40k, didn't see that one coming. Um, some more information about uh, upcoming DLC for, for Dark Tide. Uh, Rogue Trader, Trader updates, Warp Forge, which is the card game, uh, Bolt Gun, which is uh, Doom in the Warhammer world, lots of really good feedback on that one, um, some detail, and then hidden away, almost at the end of the article, it's a little one-liner, <laughs> here we go, Blood Bowl 3 has got into the action by revealing the new Lizardmen team who arrive in June's upcoming Season 1 update. So firstly, saw this and thought, this is great. Actually, we're getting season one in June and everyone thought it was gonna be lizards, but it definitely is lizards. Um, so it was good to see that finely detailed. Um, so let's see what else happened. Well, we then finally got an update um, in terms of from the developer. And I think this came the day after in the morning. Uh, so Blood Bowl 3 Season 1 kicks off on June the 22nd. So it's a month delay for, for Season 1. Uh, but June the 22nd is the date now. And the Lizard Men are the team coming. Um, and for those of you who played Lizards, uh, you know, they're a good fun team to play with. They've both got big, strong players in the Sauruses. The stunty players in terms of uh, the rest of the Lizards to run around. And my favourite player, which is the Chameleon Skink, who's got on the ball. I really hope on the ball works as a skill. It is without a doubt my one of my most fun ones. A reminder that season one blood pass is free, so everybody's going to get access to the lizards from June the twenty second. Um, so let's uh, let's have a look at the video a bit more and talk about what's so great about the lizards. So for those of you who've ever played lizards before, one of the best things about them is their um, ability to do both a bash and a dash game. And they're definitely one of the top tier sides. They've got access to one, a great uh, big guy, the Croxador, Crox Igor, um, and mostly most teams will be based around having lots of Sauruses, which have got strength. Uh, oodles are letting out of them. Not a great amount of movement, but massively strong pieces. Um, and they've got uh, an easy ability to get block on them um, and we, it's a difficult team. And then you've got some speed around that so you can really, really chase down teams. For those of you that have played uh, against uh, particularly Skaven teams or like that, Lizard teams are really good against them because they've got both the smash to really upset them and destroy them, but also there's enough speed with the skinks to hold them up in detail. 
Um, and as I said, I said the Chameleon Skink is one of my favourite players. On the ball gives you the ability to move a player when your opponent passes and gives you an ability to move a player to try and catch the ball on the kickoff, uh, which if you roll really badly on pickups really helps. So here you can see the, the players. Uh, these are based on the Games Workshop models, which for, for Lizards, there were some of the best models you'll see. They're really good fun to look at. Um, and I think this video really sums up nicely uh, how Lizards play. They're a tough team. They've got a little bit of speed, uh, but they're really fun to play with. I'd like to hear your thoughts on, do you think the Lizards are going to work on the first launch of the game? Do you think everything's going to happen well? Um, and do you think that we'll get a, a good set of outputs in terms of the details for them? I'm really hoping that we'll get uh, a really good uh, set of play for the lizards and we'll really be able to play with them well. Um, and yeah, you can see the lizards jumping away, leaping away there. That's one of the things you'll see people do a lot with lizards is really go through. So yeah, June the 22nd is when season one's coming and where we should be for, for Blood Bowl 3. One of the things we've definitely got to be concerned about is will they work as a team? Uh, we've seen updates come out before from Blood Bowl 3 and definitely not all of the skills work. So I'd really interested to know, do you think they're going to work? Do you think they're not going to work? But let's take the good news out of it for now. It's not that far away. June 22nd, Season 1. It's free. The game's actually on sale at the moment, although I'm pretty sure most of you are holding out if you haven't got it for a better sale price and also a better functionality. But I'll see you at Season 1. Let's hope the admin tools for the league are coming soon. And good luck to all waiting for this. See you soon.